So welcome. Uh, let me start by saying I'm very honored to I did receive uh, Prime Minister Modi yesterday evening, and I'm very honored to host these meetings that we have and will have today. I'm very happy to see you here in Stockholm, Prime Minister, two years after my visit in Mumbai, where I was very grateful for your generous hospitality. And this is also the first official visit uh, by a Prime Minister of India since 1988, so it's 30 years ago, and we are very proud that you're here. Our two countries uh, enjoy excellent bilateral relations with solid cooperation in a broad range of areas. I believe that in many ways uh, Sweden and India is a perfect match. India is aiming for an unprecedented economic transformation, including in manufacturing as well as in digital development, and Sweden has many sustainable and innovative solutions to offer, including since in our manufacturing in Mumbai, as well as in 2016, we have seen intensified political and business interaction. I'm talking about green technology, smart cities, and innovation as part of our cooperation, and at the end of the day, it's about creating jobs and a sustainable economic growth. I would like to commend the Indian government uh, and its strong focus on innovation as a key to progress and prosperity, uh, doing so in flagship progr programs such as Make in India, Startup India, India, Digital India, and these are also areas where the Swedish innovation system has a lot to offer in terms of collaboration. To further drive uh, cooperation forward, we have issued now uh, our two countries a joint action plan and signed uh, also an innovation partnership, and both are building on uh, our joint statement in Mumbai two years ago. I'm very pleased to announce uh, that the Swedish government will kickstart our innovation partnership by providing up to 50 million Swedish kronor for innovation cooperation with India in the field of smart cities and sustainability. I hope, I'm convinced that this will be beneficial for both our countries, for job creation as well as for the climate. Let me also mention that uh, Sweden and India have agreed to work towards uh, a security agreement allowing us to exchange certain types of uh, classified information required to work together on defense materials. This uh, agreement uh, would be an important step forward as we are deepening our bilateral uh, cooperation in the defense domain. We have also agreed today to set up a common task force on cybersecurity. India has indeed emerged as a, a global power. No important global conversation, be it on climate change or sustainable development, is complete without the voice of India. As Sweden is a member of the European Union and currently a member of the United Nations Security Council, it's important for us to discuss common challenges in our respective regions with India. The EU-India strategic partnership holds great potential, and I do hope that negotiations on investment protection and free trade can be relaunched. Uh, in a little while, Prime Minister Modi and I will lead a CEO roundtable discussion about the prospects of further growth for Swedish companies in India. A Nordic summit, uh, sorry, an India-Nordic summit will also take place. And I'm very pleased to welcome my fellow Nordic Prime Ministers to Stockholm for this special occasion. So lastly, thank you so much, Prime Minister Modi, for excellent and constructive talks today and for this important visit to Sweden. I look forward to seeing this cooperation between Sweden and India develop and deepen even further. Please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency Prime Minister Stephen Laven, my friends from the media, this is my first visit to Sweden. 
and the first visit by an Indian Prime Minister to Sweden after a gap of nearly three decades. I would like to express my gratefulness to uh, Prime Minister Laven for th and to the government of Sweden for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to us. During this visit, Prime Minister Laven has also organized a summit uh, between India and the other Nordic countries. I am very grateful to him for this. Sweden has been a very strong partner of the Make in India campaign right from its inception. In 2016, Prime Minister Laven uh, came to Mumbai in India to participate in our Make in India program, and he came with a very big business delegation. The biggest Make in India program to be organized outside India was organized last October in Sweden. We are extremely pleased and proud about the fact that uh, Prime Minister Laven himself participated in this uh, program. The main theme of our discussions today was how how Sweden can make the most of opportunities arising as a result of India's development and how it can form a win-win partnership with India. As a result of this, we have agreed today on an innovation partnership and a joint action plan. Innovation, investment, startups, manufacturing, etc. These are some of the main dimensions of our partnership. Along with these, we are also uh, focusing our attention on subjects like uh, renewable energy, urban, urban transport, and waste management. These are all subjects uh, which are related to the quality of life of people in India. On subjects related to trade and investment, Prime Minister Laven and I are going to have uh, later today discussions with some of the leading CEOs of Sweden. Another uh, key pillar of our bilateral relations is our defense and security cooperation. In the area of defense, Sweden has been a partner of India for a very long time. And I am sure that in the future as well, uh, we will continue uh, to find new opportunities uh, for cooperation in this sector, in particular in the area of defense production. Uh, our security cooperation in particular cybersecurity cooperation, uh, we have uh, made a decision to further strengthen cooperation in this area. Another area on which we agreed, that is, that our seas are extremely, uh, our relations are very important at a regional and global stage as well. At an international level, we have close uh, cooperation and we'll continue to work together in future as well. Today, we exchange views at length on the developments taking place in Europe and uh, Asia. Uh, finally, I would like to uh, once again express my sincere gratefulness to Prime Minister Laven. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.